Did you know that stop signs weren't always red? Their color is a fascinating mix of hard science, brain science, and a surprisingly practical problem. Why red? It's a two-part answer. First, physics. Red light has the longest wavelength in the visible spectrum. This means it scatters the least when traveling through air particles, making it the most visible color from a great distance, especially in low-light conditions like dawn, dusk, or fog. Second, psychology. Our brains are hardwired to associate red with danger, urgency, and importance. It's the color of fire and blood, primal signals that trigger an immediate pay-attention response in our brains, making us more likely to react quickly. But here's the hilarious twist. For decades, stop signs were actually yellow. In the early 20th century, engineers knew red was ideal, but they couldn't create a red dye that wouldn't fade quickly into a pathetic washed-out pink under the sun. Yellow was the next most visible color, and its pigments were far more durable. It wasn't until the development of fade-resistant enamels in the 1950s that they could finally make the switch to the powerful red we see today. So for 30 years, the ultimate symbol of stop was basically the color of a banana. What's another everyday object whose color you've always wondered about? Tell me in the comments. Like this video if you learned something, and subscribe for more secrets hidden in plain sight.